Our understanding of our solar system's planets has evolved throughout time. New technologies are being developed by scientists all the time in order to aid in the never-ending exploration of our solar system. They keep on revealing images upon images of our solar system with new discoveries. However, let's go back in time and look at the first ever images of our solar system's planets. You'll be taken aback by the solar system's rapid evolution. Join us as we explore the real images of every planet in our solar system. The Sun's innermost planet, Mercury. On March 29, 2011, NASA released the first ever image of Mercury taken from orbit by a spacecraft. That would be the first time Mercury has been photographed from space, yet it's neither surprising nor compelling. In comparison to photographs taken by spacecraft flying past Mercury and orbiting other planets in our solar system, this one isn't very appealing. That NASA engineers and scientists have been able to get a ship into Mercury orbit is a testimonial to the difficulty of space engineering. Large crater Debussy and smaller crater Matabe can be seen in the picture. NASA has named craters on Mercury after artists who have died and whose work has been recognized as historically significant for over 50 years. Iwasa Matabe, a Japanese artist, was the inspiration for Matabe, while Claude Debussy, a French composer who died in 1918, was the inspiration for Debussy. Venus In addition to the sweltering heat and the crushing strain of the world next door, it's impossible to survive there. Even though Venus is a very close neighbor to Earth, its atmosphere is impenetrable to visible lights, making it difficult to study. Between 1975 and 1982, the Soviet Union's Venera spacecraft took the only images of the surface of Venus. The Russian word for Venus, which the Veneras used to refer to their surroundings, comes from their method of scanning the surface back and forth. Views of a world that may have previously been like Earth before the catastrophic climate change were displayed with yellow skies and shattered, barren landscapes that were at the same time exotic, alien and familiar. X-ray fluorescence examination of an excavated soil sample was performed by the Soviet Venera 13 in 1982, and the first color image of Venus's surface was sent by the Soviet Venera 13. Earth NASA astronauts have shot more than 900,000 photos while in orbit around the Earth. Before Scott Kelly received the Nikon D4 and the famed blue marble full picture of Earth, there was this 76 years ago. Images of Earth photographed from space for the first time. While looking at the fuzzy grayscale Earth, smooth white cloud formations are seen floating above it, a swirl of monochrome set against the blackness of space. It takes a minute to identify what they are. October 24, 1946 was the date this snapshot was taken. It was a noteworthy occurrence at the time, even if subsequent images of the Earth would overshadow it. The earliest pictures of Earth were taken at the time when space and defense technology was rapidly improving, even though they were low resolution and dark. As part of its two-decade effort to develop a nuclear-powered rocket aimed at Mars, the United States sent astronauts to the Moon. During the Cold War, the United States developed and deployed powerful anti-aircraft missiles that could shoot down Soviet bombers. Electrified guitars, too, were motivated by a vision of the future that was lofty and expansive. This new era began with stunning photographs of our planet's surface. Mars, the Red Planet After decades of speculation, the first close-up images of Mars were finally returned to Earth 57 years ago, marking a significant milestone in human space exploration. However, these were not quite what the rest of the world had expected. In the summer of 1965, a mysterious red dot appeared on the horizon and sparked a flurry of speculation. Almost 57 years to the day after New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto, Mariner 4 became the first successful flyby mission to Mars this year, gaining historic ground where previous attempts had failed by getting the first photos of the planet on July 15th. The historic spacecraft managed to take 21 pictures as it sailed over at a distance of approximately 6,000 kilometers. 
it had a television camera, six scientific instruments, and a modest data recorder that saved the day. However, after the first thrill of witnessing this feat of scientific prowess, the images themselves were a letdown. People had become accustomed to seeing pictures of an older Earth-like planet with lakes, valleys and mountains, but they saw a planet with moon-like craters instead. Jupiter One of Jupiter's most striking characteristics is the infamous Great Red Spot. The setting depicts a global storm that has raged for centuries. As far back as 1665, there have been reports of the storm, indicating that it has existed for more than 350 years. More than 40,000 kilometers in the early 20th century, the massive spot was enough to fit three Earths. To date, scientists remain unsure of the storm's origins. As far back as 1879, the first ever picture of Jupiter was captured. However, the first close-up images of Jupiter were taken by NASA's Pioneer 10 on December 4, 1973. Pioneer 10, which had launched the year before, was the first spacecraft to transit through the asteroid belt and approach Jupiter. For the first time, humans were able to explore the furthest regions of the solar system. Observations of the Great Red Spot on Jupiter show that dark patches are created by holes in the cloud cover, rather than by changes in cloud color. Saturn Saturn is the cool kid of our planetary system, a more temperate cousin to Jupiter's hulking gas giant and Venus's searing surface, Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. Galileo discovered Saturn's rings in 1610, although they are not visible to the human eye from Earth. Italian-born French astronomer Giovanni Domenico Cassini separated the rings 65 years later, in 1675. NASA launched the Cassini mission in 1997 to reveal the ringed giant to the world for the first time. The rings of Saturn are the most extensive in our solar system, and NASA claims this is the finest detailed color image of any part of Saturn's rings ever taken. The planet's B rings inner central portion is depicted in the natural color image which was created from two images. While flying 700,000 miles above Saturn's surface, the Cassini probe captured intricate multicolored bands of spinning clouds in the planet's northern hemisphere near the end of August 2017. The Cassini sank into Saturn's surface in 2017 after a 13-year mission around its orbit. Unfortunately, Saturn's rings also will not be around forever. According to NASA, the rings could disappear in the next 100 to 300 million years. Uranus With the discovery of Uranus, our solar system's seventh planet from the Sun in 1781, the known boundaries of our solar system were expanded. Uranus was the first planet discovered with the use of a telescope. Meanwhile, the intensity of Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn's brightness were enough for them to be seen with the naked eye. On January 24, 1986, the Voyager 2 spacecraft came within a few thousand miles of Uranus. The icy blue-green hued cloud of Uranus was just 50,640 miles, that's 81,500 kilometers, away from the craft. To date, Voyager 2 is the only human craft to have landed on the planet. Scientific data from Voyager 2 during and after its closest visit to the planet significantly changed our understanding of this mysterious distant planet. A series of groundbreaking discoveries were made as a result of this cosmological convergence. According to Voyager 2 data, a Uranian day lasts only 17 hours and 14 minutes. Hydrogen and helium predominate in Uranus's atmosphere, comparable to that of other gas giants. Ices of water, ammonia and methane were found beneath the surface of this world too. Among the solar system's most intriguing seasonal variations is that of Uranus. In the wake of the Voyager 2 spacecraft's departure, we've come to know the planet as we've never known it before. Neptune the first images of Neptune were taken by NASA's Voyager 2 mission when it passed by Neptune 30 years ago. Before then, the eighth planet in our solar system could only be seen as an obscured speck in the night sky. 
Voyager 2's final planetary flyby of Neptune and its moon Triton took place on August 25, 1989. Photos and data from Voyager 2 changed our view of the solar system forever. As the craft got closer to Neptune, the planet gradually grew from a smoky blue dot with each passing moment. It was discovered that Neptune's magnetic field is lopsided. The great dark spot on the planet, which is similar to Jupiter's great red spot, was identified by scientists. Neptune features some of the solar system's fastest and coldest winds. Until recently, Pluto was a member of our planet's clan, so let's take a look at its earliest pictures too. A NASA spacecraft sailed within 7,800 miles, that's 12,550 kilometers, of Pluto on July 14, 2015, capturing the first close-up images of the distant and elusive planet. The images revealed astonishing terrain on the cold dwarf planet which even the most imaginative scientists and space enthusiasts were stunned by. Pluto's famous heart, a 600 mile wide that's 1000 kilometer nitrogen ice glacier on its left lobe was seen for the first time. The New Horizons also discovered massive ice volcanoes, a bladed landscape of methane glaciers and a massive water ice mountain range unlike anything else ever seen by planetary scientists. Who could have guessed that a lot was going on in such a place? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.